What's up guys, in this video we're gonna be setting up IntelliSense for NeoVim uh, using Concurve Completion or COC. So I do not have everything about this, this, um, this plugin documented here, and that's because it's a very big plugin. There's a lot of things that go into it. So I have enough to get you started, um, but the documentation is also linked in my blog. Like all of the documentation is linked in there. So let's open up Vim plug plugins. And if you're not familiar with this directory structure, all this kind of stuff, uh, I go over it in all the previous videos. So we'll open this up and let's add a plugin for IntelliSense or for COC. So we'll tab over. Also, I added this down here. So anytime you open up NeoVim, it will automatically install missing plugins. All right, so let's open it up and install. And now it should be installed. The next thing we'll do, and if you want to build it from source, you can build it from source using um, this command right here instead and then running you have to make sure you have yarn installed first so you can to install yarn you can run that now what we'll do is we'll make a directory called plug config and this is where we're going to keep all of the config for all of our plugins it just so happens that coc is the first one that we um that we're installing so let's go in here and open this guy up now I didn't leave an example configuration here because the example configuration provided by um, the repo and NeoClyde here is pretty big. So we'll just go to the repo and when you see example Vim configuration, take all of this, copy and paste it into here. And then the only thing that I do not like about it is that it has uh, this stuff here and the reason I don't like these two lines 106 and 107 is because I use tab to move between buffers and this remaps it So we're just going to get rid of that All right, and then the last thing we need to do is open up init.vim And what we'll do is we will source the configuration file that we just added. So there it goes All right, and now we should be ready to go. So we'll run neovim and check health. All right, and you can ignore this top thing. Uh, this is just um, a polyglot, a bug in polyglot right now. What you're looking for is this guy right here, this uh, COC check. So if you do not have Node installed, this may not have worked for you, and if it didn't, just install Node, and that should fix it. Um, if you wanna point to a custom Node path, you can do that with this variable right here and you should see all, K, all OKs in here before proceeding. So the next thing we'll do is COC uh, info, just to get some info that COC provides us. It lets us know our NeoVim version, um, the node version it's going off of, and the version of COC itself. Also, I guess your terminal and platform. All right, now let's install some extensions. So COC, we can tab complete this, install, and we'll do COC, JSON, uh, Python, snippets, COC, Vim LSP, and we'll also do COC, TS server. All right, and the TS server one typically takes the longest. And there it goes. All right, and now the next thing that we can do is, by the way, these are extensions that we installed. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a language support extension, right? It could be, like this is one for Vim, this is one for Python. I installed one for TS or TypeScript and JavaScript. But you can also install them for snippets and other things. So we can click on this link to the COC extensions, and here are all the extensions that are provided. So like for instance, if you wanted to add like C++ support, you would click on this one, you would COC install that, and then you would change some of the configurations. And we'll go over configurations in a second, um, but you can add some configurations to it. So they all have configurations, but, so some of them are LSP, like this one, but CMake isn't really LSP, I mean it kind of is, but let's see, um, like Discord, that's definitely not LSP, right? And Let's see what else. Um, snippets, we installed those. It has like a spell checker and uh, like a yank tool. It also has like an explorer, I think, in here somewhere. So, you know, you can check these out and see what it provides you, but it's not just for language support. 
Um, all right, so after installing those extensions, we can go through some of the commands that we now get with the extensions. So we can do coc um, uh, list, or yeah, so let's go back to list, and then we'll do commands. And these are all the commands, so you'll notice that we installed Python, so now we have Python commands. Uh, we installed t uh, snippets, so now we have snippet commands. We installed uh, TS server, so now we have TS server commands. Um, another thing you can do is uninstall stuff. We won't do that right now, but you can uninstall stuff like extensions just by doing this right here, like coc uninstall that. Uh, we can also do something like extensions. And then you can, if you press tab on top of the extension, then you can toggle it, go to its configuration, disable it, enable it, uninstall it, reload it, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So that's, that's pretty nice. The next thing we will do is run coc configuration. You only need to, or you only need to do this once. So we'll do coc config. All right, and you'll notice that it brought us to a COC settings file, and it'll be very obvious where this is in a second. I'll show it to you. So what we'll do is we'll grab this, and this is also a place where you can set up other language server protocol um, support. So if you didn't want to use COC Python, the extension that does that, you could just set up uh, the language server down here in this, uh, in this config. So what we're going to do is we're going to add things to auto format on save. So Markdown, JavaScript, Python, I think is in this list somewhere. And also we're going to enable Python linting. And you might be wondering, well, how did I know how to add this stuff here? You know, what, did I just make this stuff up? You know, and I didn't. So we can go to COC extensions and click on an extension. So we will look at Python, for instance. And if you scroll down and look through all of the options that you're given here, we can see, okay, pylint, so python.linting. And I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see, maybe even bigger. Um, python.linting.pylint enabled, and it's a Boolean, so it can be true or false, right? So I did not make this stuff up. This stuff just comes directly from uh, all of the configuration that you can find in the repo under extensions. So you can set it up however you want. There's a lot of ways to configure it, right? So um, I wonder if this whole time, no, it should have been fine. All right, let's go back here. All right. So now the next thing we'll do um, is if you want to install Watchman, you can install Watchman like this. If you notice that it's taking up a lot of memory, you can run this Watchman command to get rid of that. If you'd like to bring your configuration with you, you can download this shell script, or not download this shell script, but create this shell script and install all of the COC stuff that you typically um, would have installed. So now what we'll do is we can demo some of this stuff. So let's do init.vim and let's add some nonsense to init.vim. All right, and already the vim LSP is noticing that this is nonsense, so that's good. We can also do something like source and we'll notice, okay, these are like um, all the things that are built into vim, so that's kind of nice, right? The next thing that we'll do is we will open up a Python file, so we'll cd home and we'll open up pytest here. Whoops, and vim pytest. And we will open up this guy, and you'll notice if I hover over a class, well, for instance, we don't have the right, pylint is letting us know it can't find these, right? So we don't have the right interpreter set. So what we'll go and do is we will do coc command, go down to Python, set interpreter. And then we'll choose what interpreter we want. So for instance, this one will be used in the test. So you can see number 15 up there is the test. So we'll do 15. All right, and that goes away. So what we can do now is it should find everything. See, so def get light objects. Um, there seems to be some sort of like error down here at the bottom, but I don't think that that matters. I think everything should be fine. Um, then what we'll do is Add some nonsense here, and pylint picks up on that being nonsense. So we'll get rid of that. All right, 
and let's see, we can do B dot, and now we get all of the Jedi completion, which is nice, and then if it has a pi doc string, then there you go. Uh, you can get some more information about it. Also, if you want to see like, okay, well, where's this defined? Type GD on top of it. And then we got to where it's defined. Then press Control O to get out of there. Um, we can also press, uh, we can also do like, I think GR to find references. I don't think there was a reference for that one though. And then, um, let's see. That should be pretty much it for demoing this stuff. Actually, the last thing I wanted to show was formatting, right? So what we'll do is add a bunch of space here and then it auto formats. And that'll happen for everything that you set in the configuration. We can also show off this working in JavaScript. So we'll go over here, open this up, open templates, open this, and we can do things like, um, I don't know, GR on this, and we can see everywhere that it's being used. So at the top and at the bottom, this is all references to the layout component. Um, something else we could do like the Shift K and get Shift K, like get the, the help for that so we know the full path to that module. We can run Shift K on everything. This is what we were doing in Python too when we were getting all the information, it's just pressing Shift K on top of things, right? Um, won't give you much about that other than, because it's a class I just defined right here. But um, yeah, so this is you know what you get out of the box with it. Um, you also get the same thing. So if I start typing this dot props dot, okay, and here's all the props and stuff, right? So yeah, it's just uh, it's pretty much just IntelliSense. So that's pretty much all I wanted to demo for this. It, you should definitely be checking out this guy's um, documentation on their their github you'll just when you go to their repo you just click on wiki and you'll have all of the documentation you should definitely be looking at the coc extensions here and also you can follow my development for this over uh, on my github um, i'm basically building it from scratch if you're interested in the old config that i had it's in another branch called stable right now all right and make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video